Hey guys, so what's bumpy to you guys? So, we be reacting to a very amazing story. Like, a lady says, I don't feel like wearing the hijab anymore. What should I do? I believe hijab is mandatory, even if it's not enforced, but you're supposed to wear it. So, let's see the answers. I used to wear the hijab all the time. Alhamdulillah. Now, Alhamdulillah, but the thing is, I work in a high school, I don't wear it anymore. And Why? Then, it's just that. I don't know, I'm so overwhelmed trying to wear it and I hate myself for that, frankly speaking. I always question myself, like why am I not wearing it? Is it because of the other people I'm working with or is it just the environment? Where am I stuck? Quit your job and I mean it. If my job is going to take me from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it doesn't worth it. As I always say this to myself, don't sell your akhirah for your dunya. It's a lost stock market. Quit if you cannot be you who you are, who you want to be, who you are actually. In work, at work, quit the job. You have awe of Allah, He will give you not a job in high school, He will give you even better. One option. Or, you go tomorrow and wear it on Monday. Before you leave, Ya Qawi Qawini. You are the strong, keep me strong. No other options. There's no tomorrow I will do it. Because tomorrow shaitan is going to come to you. Doesn't worth it, ladies and gentlemen, and brothers and sisters. Doesn't worth it. Wallah ladhi la ilaha illahu. al the wise person. Man taraka dunya qabla an tatruka. Who leaves dunya before dunya leaves him or her. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Here you can see a sister asked. She doesn't want to wear hijab and she used to wear it before. But nowadays because of some circumstances or because of she even doesn't know what had happened. She doesn't want to wear the hijab anymore. And she was given the advice that leave your job if it is the reason for you to leave your hijab. My sisters, you are a gem. You are a diamond. You are so powerful and you are so beloved. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you. You are someone's wife or someone's mother or someone's sister. So follow the rules and regulations which is given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will bring peace, harmony in your life. This dunya, this world is temporary. Just because of the joy of this world, don't destroy your ahira. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhan nabiyyu kulli azwajika wa banatika wa nisa'il mu'mineen yudnina alayhinna min jalabibihinna thalika adna an yu'rafna fala yu'zayn wa kana allahu gafuran rahima O oh Prophet, tell your wives and your daughters and the women of the believers to bring down over themselves part of their outer garments that is more suitable that they will be known and not be abused and ever is Allah forgiving and merciful. This is the 59th verse of Surah Al-Ahzab. My sister Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly mentioned about wearing your hijab and covering your body so listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala advised in the Quran and listen to what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam suggested and follow how the wives of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam led their life Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring happiness in your life Allah will open the doors of risk in your family Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give barakah in your family. May Allah give us the understanding and may Allah make us from those who loves Islam and who follow Islam and who are the beloved slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Please support our dollar works at www. Support Guys, Dawa. this is beautiful. Like, I love the, the answer they gave up with your job. Uh, I feel... This is also written in the Bible. If anything will take you from God, cut it off. So I feel that answer is actually very beautiful. So if you know this is going to take you, take you from 
going to heaven, you just cut it off because it's not worth it. Like, we won't spend more than 100 or 120 years here. So, 20, 120 years versus eternity is not just a good calculation. So, I kind of love the answer. But, guys, then we think about it, don't you like, share, subscribe my channel? But I also believe that if you know when you're hijab, it doesn't mean you're not a good person. Yes, a Muslim once told me that. It doesn't mean you're not a good person. But guys, don't wait in the comment section. So if you like, just go to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.